Hello, welcome to this first subsurface video. Today we're going to be answering the question that is why is Middleplant the only oil field in the German sector of the North Sea? Middleplant is a large oil field with estimated recoverable reserves of around 33 million cubic meters. The reservoir itself consists of Dogger sandstones, which are Jurassic in age, and the trap is dominantly a structural trap um, against uh, salt diaper. However, there's stratigraphic pinch outs away from the diaper. As you can see from this picture, uh, it's been drilled by both an artificial island built on top of the structure and long reach wells from onshore. Pretty much, yeah. So there's some small abandoned oil fields that were just onshore, close to the middle plant structure, but offshore in the German sector of the North Sea, there's no other oil field. The short answer is salt. While building our Trove Germany database, we came across many interesting papers like this one, which explains why Mitchell Platt is alone. During the Permian, thick evaporites are laid down across the whole basin, and these are then covered by alluvial sediments. And that towards the late Permian, extensional tectonics kick in across the whole basin, and this is the start of the North Sea Rift, which eventually failed and leaves us with the North Sea as it is today. But with this extension came diapyracism. Both diapyracism and the extensional tectonics continue all the way from the late Permian right through to the Cretaceous. However, the extension and diapyracism isn't consistent across the whole basin. So at one period of time, you will have extension and diapyracism in one area, and at another period of time, you'll have it in a different area. This means that you can get the case of one diapyr growing throughout a time period um, where all the others are not growing. In particular, during the early Jurassic, there was one salt diapir growing in the German North Sea. This is significant because the only oil source in the German sector of the North Sea is of early Jurassic age. And as this diapir was growing, in the salt withdrawal basins beside it, Jurassic sediments were being deposited. So the only source rock for oil in the German North Sea is located around this diapir. And yeah, you guessed it. That's the diapir that Mitchell is flanking against. This has been one of many interesting finds that we have come across while building our Trove databases. Thanks for watching.